Hi, welcome to my channel. At kung bago ka lang dito, ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin lang ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga bagong mat tutorial videos. Today, ang pag-aaralan natin ay kung paano mag-solve ng problems involving parallelograms. At sa pag-solve ng problems involving parallelograms, kailangan alam natin class ang properties ng parallelogram. So, property number one, opposite sides are congruent. Number two, opposite angles are congruent. Number three, consecutive angles are supplementary. Number four, the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect its other. And number five, a diagonal of a parallelogram forms two congruent triangles. So, ito class yung magiging guide natin sa pag-solve ng problems involving parallelograms. Example, number 1. So, line segment AB is equal to 3x minus 5 cm. Line segment BC is equal to 2y minus 7 cm. Line segment CD is equal to x plus 7 cm. And line segment AB is equal to y plus 3 cm. Letter A, what is the value of X and Y? Letter B, how long is line segment AB and line segment AB? Letter C, what is the perimeter of parallelogram ABCD? So, nahin natin class yung letter A. What is the value of X and Y? So, tulad ng sabi ko kanina, gagamitan natin class ng properties ng parallelogram para masagutan natin yung problem. Remember, for a quadrilateral to be parallelogram, both pairs of opposite sides should be congruent. Therefore, line segment AB is equal to line segment CD. And line segment AD is equal to line segment BC. So, property number 1, opposite sides are congruent. So, substitute lang natin class yung ating given. So, line segment AB is 3x minus 5. And line segment CD is x plus 7. Sa kabila naman, 2y minus 7 is equal to y plus 3. Next step, combine like terms. So, magiging 3x minus x is equal to 5 plus 7. And 2y minus y is equal to 7 plus 3. Then, simplify natin, magiging 2x is equal to 12. And then, sa kabila naman, y is equal to 10. So, nakuha na natin, class, yung value ng y. Sa x naman, kailangan pa natin gamitan ng division property of equality. So, divide both sides by 2. So, magiging x is equal to 6. For letter B, how long is line segment AB and line segment AD? Since class, nakuha na natin yung value ng X and Y doon sa ating letter A, madali na natin makukuha yung measure ng line segment AB and line segment AD. Ang gagawin na lang natin ay isa substitute yung value ng X and Y. So, if X is equal to 6 and Y is equal to 10, so magiging 3 times the quantity of 6 minus 5. Sa kabila naman, 10 plus 3. So, 3 times 6 is 18 minus 5 is 13. Then, 10 plus 3 is 13 centimeter. So, line segment AB is 13 centimeter and line segment AB is equal to 13 centimeter. Next, letter C. What is the perimeter of parallelogram ABCD? So, para makuha natin class yung perimeter ng parallelogram ABCD, i-add lang natin yung apat na sides. So, meron na tayo class ditong nakuhang dalawang sides which is line segment AB and line segment AB. So, yung line segment AB class is 13 cm. Kung yung line segment AB is 13 cm at yung opposite side nito class is line segment CD, ibig sabihin ito rin ay 
13 cm kasi nga opposite sides are congruent. Next, yung line segment AD natin class is 13 cm din at yung opposite side naman nito is uh, line segment BC. Ibig sabihin yung line segment BC rin is 13 cm. And 13 plus 13 plus 13 plus 13 is equal to 52 cm. So, perimeter of parallelogram ABCD is 52 cm. So, proceed naman tayo sa number 2. Number 2, angle BAD measures 2A plus 25 degree, while angle BCD measures 3A minus 15 degree. So, what is the value of A? Letter B, What is the measure of angle BAD? And letter C, what is the measure of angle CBA? Sagutan natin yung letter A. What is the value of A? Pagkatapos, analyze natin class yung ating given. So, ang given natin is angle BAD is equal to 2A plus 25 degrees. So, nandito class yung ating angle BAD. Tapos, yung angle BCD naman ay 3A minus 15. So, nandito naman po. So, makikita natin sila class ay opposite angle. So, pwede natin magamit yung property number 2. Opposite angles are congruent. So, ibig sabihin, pwede natin gawing equation class yung 3A minus 15 is equal to 2A plus 25. Since yung ang opposite angles ay congruent or Equal. So, katulad lang class na ginawa natin kanina, i-co-combine natin yung similar terms or like terms. So, magiging 3A minus 2A is equal to 15 plus 25. So, 3A minus 2A is A and 15 plus 25 is equal to 40. So, A is equal to 40. Next, letter B. What is the measure of angle B, A, D. So, dito class, isa substitute na lang natin yung value ng A. So, A is equal to 40. So, ilalagay natin dito yung 40 natin. So, magiging 2 times 40 plus 25. So, 2 times 40 is 80 plus 25 is equal to 105 degree. So, measure class ng angle B, A, D is 105 degree. Next, letter C. So, letter C, what is the measure of angle CBA? So, ito class yung ating um, CBA. So, paano kaya natin makukuha yung measure ng CBA? Hindi natin class pwedeng i-substitute lang yung value ng A kasi wala namang ibinigay na expression dun sa angle CBA. So, para makuha natin class, gagamitin pa rin natin yung nakuha natin measure sa angle BAD. So, again, nandito class yung ating uh, angle BAD. So, ito class ay consecutive angles. So, pwede natin magamit yung property number 3, consecutive angles are supplementary. Ibig sabihin, pag in natin class, yung angle uh, BAD and angle CBA, is equal to 180 degree. So, yun yung gagawin nating equation. So, magiging 105. So, ito yung measure class ng angle BAD. Plus, measure of angle CBA is equal to 180 degree. Next step, gagamitan natin class ng subtraction property of equality. So, kailangan natin isubtract both sides by 105. So, magiging Uh, measure of CBA is equal to 180 minus 105. And 180 minus 105 is equal to 75 degree. Next, number 3. Diagonals AC and BD meet at E and DE is 8 cm and AC is 13 cm. Letter A, how long is line segment BD? Letter B, how long is line segment AE? 
since class ang pinag-uusapan naman natin dito sa number 3 ay diagonals, pwede natin gamitin yung property number 4, yung diagonals of a parallelogram bisect its other. At sa given natin class, yung line segment BE is equal to 8 cm. At sa property number 4 nga natin, diagonals bisect its other, ibig sabihin, yung line segment DE, kalahati siya class nung line segment BD. So, ang gagawin natin, multiply lang natin by 2. So, 8 times 2 is 16 cm. Sa letter B naman, how long is line segment AE? So, ang magagamit naman natin dito class, yung given natin na line segment AC. So, line segment AC is 13 cm. At kalahati naman nito yung line segment AE. So, ang gagawin naman natin dito, divide natin by 2. So, 13 divided by 2 is equal to 6.5 cm. So, hanggang dito na lang class, kung meron po kayong hindi naitindihan at meron po kayong gustong itanong, ilagay lang sa ating comment section at isa-isa po natin niyang sasagutin. Muli, maraming salamat sa panonood. God bless.